Hello again, Morning Mana family. It's me, Heather. We are on day five of our journey through Psalm 1. I hope you've been enjoying the little nuggets of insight that each verse provides. Maybe you're even beginning to memorize it. Here it is. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the way of the righteous, for the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. Today's verse gets serious. There is a judgment. A life of sin doesn't just lead to pain in this short temporal life. Without Jesus, our life of sin will lead to an eternity without God, a judgment that condemns sinners to a very real hell. Verse five leans into that reality. It says, therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. This is scary, horrifying, and real, but there is good news. You already know it. Jesus came to set sinners free. Jesus is the door to eternal life. Jesus lived the perfect life that we should have but couldn't live. Then he died the perfect death to pay for our sins. I'm sure that most of us watching this morning manna have asked Jesus to forgive our sins. But if you haven't, do that now. Pray, repent of your sins. Ask Jesus to be your Lord. It's that simple. For the rest of us, let's allow this somber reminder to keep us focused on our job to tell the good news of Jesus to others. Think about what God has done for you. I love that the Psalms are full of that charter. Let me tell of the good things that God has done. Look for the opportunity to tell others about Jesus and how he has rescued you. If you have a heart to share about Jesus, he will bring people into your path. Every believer is an evangelist. I believe in you. You can lead those around you to a life of trusting in God. Tomorrow is our last day in Psalm 1, so don't miss it. Love you all.